Good morning, New Vegas. We are heading to Vault 22. Our first vault, because you don't start in a vault in this game. I'm excited. The quest sounds very interesting. I have heard of this quest before playing this game, and apparently it's very good. Like, the vault is cool. I, dang it. I'd blame Eddie, but that would be unfair. Let's kick this in gear. Okay. This thing shoots fast. If you let it. Stupid to die, but getting there. You're too stupid to. No! Oh, unconscious. Okay. Because she's a quest follower. Eddie's a quest follower, too. I bet that's why they can't die. Oh my god, you took a deep breath in. It's Captain Jack all over again. Doctor Who Captain Jack, not Pirates of the Caribbean Captain Jack. Different characters. Although. They're, I'm sure someone has come up with head cannon that they're the same character. <laughs> someone. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, uh, miscellaneous. I was going to try and activate... Is it aid? Uh, NCR thingy mabobber. There it is. I am outside the NCR operational area. Okay, I should have done that earlier, apparently. We got some more big bugs and some more plants to pick. I like finding plants that are pickable. They're not that common, which, I mean, makes sense in a desert to some degree. There is quite a bit of plant life here, though. That's just not pick upable. I'm not super. I, like, I don't understand the potion making in this system. Not potion making, medicine making. I don't know. The ingredients I pick up are not particularly useful to me. Like, the Skyrim and Oblivion systems for potion making and alchemy and stuff, like foraging and turning it into health potions, I get it. I understand it. I can play the game and just pick up all the stuff I want. This, I'm just like, okay, I'll pick up the plant if I can, and I'll probably end up selling it because I'm bad at... Holy crap. Stay out, the plants kill! Uh, those are not plants, sign. These are what are known as insects. Giant radioactive insects, I'm sure, but insects. I did not kill that mantis. It's kind of funny when I get the slow motion from a companion kill. It's like, I don't know what was happening, but good for you. This and this and this. Oh, I can't pick the flowers, but they look so tasty. Although there is a sign that says the plants kill, so maybe eating this stuff is a bad idea. All right, vault. Oh, that's a good vault door. Enter vault 22. It is instantly a lot darker in here. Okay. Restored terminal. Warning, system integrity compromised. Unauthorized login. Vault 22 expedition. Entry 1. Okay. So these are people... These are not the vault dwellers themselves. These are people who have come in and have decided to log things as they do them in the vault. I've established a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal, but still running. I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. Oh, this is who we're looking for. This is her logs. Entry two. The growth in the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room, but even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was onto something after all. Since my pip boys on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving. That is an awesome way of somebody with a pip boy to take notes and the player to get them, not all at once. Because, like, if we find her corpse later and we, there's just a pip boy with, like, a 10 page essay. <laughs> about what she discovered. It's like, I'm probably not going to read that, but if we, like, find entry 1, 2, 5, 8 throughout the vault, that's pretty cool. 
and we'll get some information. Okay. I got a comment. Apparently there is a flashlight. You have to uh, you hold your inventory key. At least that's the console version. I'm going to try and hold tab. It works! Is it the same as in Fallout 4 where it's actually just your Pip-Boy illuminated? Let's, let's see. It is! I love that flashlight. It's like, you already have this flashlight. You have this display on your arm. Why would you need anything else? It's great. Elevator? Guarantee this doesn't work. Repair 50. Uh, um, how's my repair? 35. Not quite there. If we level up over here, I will consider it though, because that's pretty cool. I haven't gotten to repair any elevators yet, I don't think. Lab. Okay, I don't see any hostile markers on my compass. I'm just gonna walk around. Stimpaks! Ah. Okay, entry three, four, and five. Here we go. This level seems to have been devoted to a to the study of atmospheric effects on plants with a concentration on producing plants with a high oxygen yield. That would make sense to have here in a vault, yeah. You kind of need that when all the air is irradiated. Uh, given the problems these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. Okay. It's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systemic pressure have been bypassed. What? So like, whatever ventilation systems they had just let the oxygen levels get super high? I wonder if that's why there's no people here. <laughs> they just got killed, they just got poisoned by over oxygenation and the plants were super happy. I've been hearing a strange chittering sound for some, so blah, blah, some time now and finally discovered its source. There's some kind of giant mantises that have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures. But I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem to experienced mercenaries. I mean, they're, they're pretty big. But yeah, if you've encountered rad roaches around the wasteland, they're not that big. Eddie, that beeping noise scares the crap out of me. <laughs> Check inventory. Nitrogen canisters, pressure valves, dispersal nozzles, cartridge filters, HEPA-20, FRP piping. Okay, so they have a storage room with stuff in it for nitrogen. Nitrogen's used in fertilizer. Oh, so this... If the restraints for oxygen levels were modified, that might have been just the plan from vault Tech with their experiments that they screw around with. Noise complaint. All right. Could maintenance look into the duct work here on level two again? I know you guys took a look at this last week, but I swear the noise is back. I even have other people that can back me up on it this time too. Interesting. Yeah, so vault Tech may have just like thrown a bunch of fertilizer and some machinery that will over oxygenate the air and was like, yeah, you guys make some plants. I'm, I'm sure you'll have fun. Definitely will be fine. Lots of humans survived. I mean, I guess for all I know, they might've just left. They might be fine. Oh, this was the one I just read from. Good job. None of this is harvestable. Okay, I heard whispering. Might have just been wind noises, but we're underground. There shouldn't be that many wind noises. Okay. Glad that's over. Eddie's made combat noises and Cass <laughs> and Cass is glad something was over. I apparently missed something. Or they're just overly concerned. Food production. That's why they had plants, because they had a full food production thing. I'm not sure if other... Oh. Spore carrier. 
That's a person. That's definitely a person. So it's the flood from Halo, but instead of fungus, it's vegetation? I'm cool with that. That's pretty sweet. Do I have my flashlight on? I do. That really shows how dark it is. Okay. Entry six and seven. I haven't missed any yet. I'm surprised with that with myself. I've finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that live here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious, at least to ghouls. So Keeley's a ghoul? Okay. I mean, it would make sense to send a ghoul into a vault if you could, because you never know what's there, and they're more resistant to radiation and, I think, water contamination as well. This level appears to be where they performed most of the research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. Okay. So, I suppose we will probably also have to do that. Find the main backup, that is. Alright. There's going to be stuff hiding in bushes like this. And I was wrong. It, I think it is fungus as well. Because I think lichen is... Is lichen the one that's half fungus and half something else? Or am I thinking of something else beyond that? Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Cave door. Until further notice, the door to the caves is to be sealed at all times by order of Administrator Bailey. See him for further details. Let's do it. Ah, oh, I need admin clearance. But I want to murder the animal, people, plant things. Oh, I'm going to get jump scared and I'm going to cry. Oh, wow, you are... It is crazy how invisible you are. I wonder if they just have invisibility, like the, what are they called, Chinese stealth soldiers from the Project Anchorage DLC in Fallout 3. They just, like, hide in corners. Food additive. Status report. Yields continue to improve. Splicing together cultivar GN188 with the existing corn samples has produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is in fact sick. On a lark, the guys down in pest control sent up a sample of a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effect on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing too. <laughs> here, here, here. Lick this slime we fe that this pest excretes. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Quite a number of the staff have begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I've begun to order them to stay in bed and recover, but at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do the research. So it didn't all happen at once. That makes sense for, like, plant growth. It's not instant. Unless your name's... Oh, hi, Eddie. <laughs> uh, wasn't expecting you to go around that corner. Unless your name's... Oh, hello. Now, okay, I'm trying to think of the name of the person that made the giant beanstalk, but I can't remember his name. Jerry and the giant beanstalk. And he goes up and kills giants. I don't think his name was Jerry. Okay, more stairs. Oxygen recycling. Oh, this is up. We want to go down. Elevator is broken. Hello? I thought it was worth a try. You are kidding me. I think they just don't spawn until you go past them. That is interesting. So if I... Oh, this is a new zone. I was like, if I walk past that little patch... Gosh, I wish I had the elevator. I mean, if I had 50 repair, I probably would have used it. And then missed out on all the... Uh... Not dialogue. Exposition? Is that the right word? Okay, the lighting is 
not happy, or some kind of electricity is not happy. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your bathrooms. That is a memory that, oh wow. Why did I drink from the urinal? I thought these were the sinks. I just walked in and I saw HP and rads and I saw five HP. No, I saw five and 20 and I was like, oh, five rads for only for 20 health. That's a great deal. I also thought it was a sink. Apparently, I'm just getting everything upside down and backwards and I made my character drink from a urinal. That's great. This is also a sink. And it has horrible stats. It's the same as drinking from a urinal. Gross. I was gonna say though, one of the most memorable moments from Deus Ex, the original one, is just when you go into the ladies room, they're just like, JC, what are you doing? Come on, dude. Okay, they can hide in, br in shrubbery. They don't hide in toilets. Although there is water in them. Water's good for plants. Wait, do I not have this quest selected or did I start over there? I'm just gonna walk towards this. Stairs. Oh, wait, what? Find Keeley. Let's go back up to food production. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Because the game certainly seems to think I missed something. It's possible that it's like in the same zone, but you have to get to it from a different place. Have I been here? Security request. I don't think those buttons will work. Ah, uh, that's why. Okay. We have to just go back. I'm assuming that Anything we find whatever we're looking for on the other side of this cave, and then this lets us, you know, skip the long walk through, and you can just head back through the cave. Okay. Gonna six this. I kind of want some more AP regeneration. If we get a piece of gear or an easily accessible drug, I'd, I'd be down for some more AP regeneration. Just for more consistent sprinting. The inner plate. These are all empty. Nobody puts their stuff away. I know this happens slowly, but like, come on. Empty sarsaparilla bottles everywhere. Okay, that was an electricity noise. I thought it was a rustling plant noise. Okay, entry eight. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. Oh, we're in the game room. So she reprogrammed this terminal from some bar game to be a log. That's kind of fun. Guess what trivia game? That would be a weird trivia game where you have to guess what trivia game the answer was from or the question was from. Anyway, I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of the grow lamps into UV spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. It's, uh, it's a shame you have lungs. Keely. <laughs> After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may be cons may... I don't know what word I was trying to say there. May constitute... There we go. A danger to the people of the NCR. Okay. So we shouldn't take the information back. Because, like, I heard the shipmaster in Halo 3. One spore can annihilate a planet. I And I remember those things. <laughs> okay, there's... Oh, there's a door I didn't use. Oh, it's the one to downstairs. Perfect. I was going to say, do am I just jumping down and hoping there's a way back up later? Oh my god, there's gonna be like three of them in this room. I'm glad I have Eddie here as kind of just a warning. 
I say that, and then he doesn't start his music. <laughs> Marvelous. Yeah, I appreciate the everybody's dead noise, Eddie, but the triumphant combat music is more useful. Oh, lockpick. Average lockpick? I never upgraded my lockpick, right? It was at, like, 8, and I just haven't touched it. Yeah, okay. So don't even think about picking locks beyond very easy. 10 and 11? No! Patient case database. Ooh! Harrison T. Peters. Dr. Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia. The results of the spread of some sort of microorganism in his lungs. I've applied the usual treatment and requested that he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. Case 164 group. Pam Mitchell, Michael Cordella, uh, Samwise Horton, good name, uh, Naoki Fujimoto, and Kenneth Derrida. Update. This entire group showed up throughout the course of the day, displaying the same symptoms. They're remarkably similar to Dr. Peter's condition when he came, first came in a week ago. I hope we don't have a contagion on our hands. You already have, like, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six? One, two, three, four, five plus Dr. Peter's with over the course of, like, two days. Maybe one day. Doesn't actually really say. And they're all displaying the same symptoms. You probably have a contagion. You should probably tell them to isolate. Although, you all live in one large building with presumably centralized error filtering. You're probably all screwed. <laughs> just hope that it's not serious. Uh, I did not continue reading. I just clicked power. Update. Whoops. Harrison Peters. Dr. Peters isn't responding to the treatment, or more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. His condition has worsened, and I'm on the cusp of ordering exploratory surgery. Uh-oh. You know things aren't soup going super great when you gotta have exploratory surgery. It's like, we don't know exactly what's going on. Um, we're just gonna cut some things and see what's happening. It's a good thing to do. It's just, you know... Not the ideal situation for probably anyone involved. Oh, wow. Way more people that I'm not going to read their names of. Another group with chills, a fever, and a terrible racking cough. I'm recommending that they be separated from the general populace. There you go. It just took an additional ten patients at once for you to, for you to say that. I don't think vaults have that many people, right? Like, a hundred would be a lot. For a, build, for a building this size, I think. So five people, or six people, getting sick in a day would be cause for alarm. Fifteen people is, like, really, really scary. Harrison Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined ten minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. I mean, that makes sense. They eat dead things. Harrison Peters. I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute I was closing up for the day, and the next... Dr. Peter's corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee the office and seal him, it, inside until security arrived. But what the hell is going on if all the recent illnesses are the same thing? Bum bum ba! That's what the three periods are. They represent bum bum ba. I actually don't think that's true, but it works in this scenario. Anything else to. Uh, okay. I don't have a radio on. I think this is just the vault playing music. Huh. That's kind of cool. I'm definitely going to get content ID. I haven't gotten copyright, like, they haven't added ads to any of my Follow New Vegas videos yet, which is nice. Tickets, okay. Um, but they have been like, this is the song that's playing in this. It doesn't do anything, and we're not changing anything about your video, but this is the video. This is the song. We recognize it. Ticket one, strange noises. Noises in vents. Sent a team to inspect. Source of problem not detected. Gas leak? Problems. Reports of possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Complete diagnostic of air circulation system. 
Result, discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of the air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue was detected on the air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters just in case. Okay. So, did that say different weight? So I guess... Oh, hey, laser stuff. Oh, I'm... I do not want to stand next to that. Let's just peek around. Value 177, weight 15. That is worth picking up. I will just give it to my friends. I can't tell if this is an armory. This, this like, Let's giant do. arcing thing makes me think no. Wait, what? Uh... Why can't I give her the incinerator, the flamer? Weird. Okay. I guess whatever, right? Like, that's fine. I'm gonna have something to eat. I am absolutely famished. Yeah, still out of range, that makes sense. Okay. You know what? Let's have some of those agave fruits. Agave, agave? I think that's more correct. Quickly pear. Little glass of Psycho, wash it all down. I said I didn't have alcohol, but it's easier to drink it than to sell it later, so here we are. Uh, Xander root, sure. We get those for free from people. They're like... I actually don't know of what companies give away food-wise with purchases. There is an invisible person right there, yeah. I saw that little weirdness in the visibility. We already checked there. So I need admin codes, right? Oh, hello. Bye, idiot. Let's check the map, because obviously I'm missing something. Food production, pest control. Oh, there's an entrance to pest control down here. Upper floor is here. Yeah, okay. And then pest control was quite close to this door. I think it was just the other direction. Ah. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> oh, pest control. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm here. Wait, the elevator takes us to pest control. There, oh, there's, there must be multiple elevators, which is a problem. Clinic, quarters, utility, overseer's office. How do we get upstairs? There we go. Because if we need admin permissions to open the door to the caves, the overseer would be the one to have it. There's got to be a body in here. No, okay. Apparently the Overseer found elsewhere to live their plant-based life. Unlock crew quarters. Sure. Unlock data backup. Sure. Unlock cavern access. Absolutely. Override engage the door site. Okay. Hopefully me clicking the button here means that I can click the button there. Because we tried to click the button there before and it did not work. There's no loot in here beyond those bullets. Yeah, this is non-functional. All right, let's head back up to the caves. That is a really cool projector. It's huge, but like, I really like how it looks. Okay. Doesn't, don't need to pay attention to that. Wait, I unlocked all the doors. Maybe this door's unlocked too. Come on, crew quarters. I, that is one I unlocked. There's gotta be people in these. Plant baby. Do they crawl out of the ground? 
Yes, they do. Let's kill. That's why they don't appear until later. Because you have to walk by them, and then they're like, Hey, you stepped on my head. What is happening? Vault 22. That's not the vault that the doctor was from, right? That saved us at the start of the game? I wish I'd kept the vault suit he gave me, and then I'd be able to remember. Pre-war money. I don't think so. Oh, they got this. I lied. Apparently I got this. Hockey mask. Why is my carry weight up to 110? Ah, I had scotch. That's why. I need to give Let's you some the stuff. Weight. Switchblade. Hockey mask. Here, have seven jumpsuits. Uh, they don't weigh a ton each, but seven of anything is going to weigh quite a bit. Mantis stuff. Those weigh nothing. I had no reason to give them to you. 89 out of 110. I think that's fine. Here, have this ashtray as well. And then Is that a crit? I think that's what that noise means. I'm going to pay attention to the top left. Don't have enough strength to sprint yet. No? Okay. Apparently I was wrong. That was not the critical hit noise. Come on. Let's kick this. There you are. They're like Bulbasaur. They're like a person cosplaying Bulbasaur. It's just like a person. You know what? That's unfair. Somebody doing cosplay could do better than this. <laughs> this is just like a person in a green morph suit with like a plant on their shoulders. It's very cool. It's very funny looking. Okay, that was the crew quarters. I am glad I went there because I, you know, may as well. Haven't I been in here? Why was the door closed? Utility. That is where the big scary lightning thing is, right? Yep. I guess I just closed all the doors from the overseer office. The open ones closed and the closed ones opened. Okay. Eddie and Cass are... They'll catch up. It'll be fine. Now, do they spawn back? I have no idea. Doesn't look like it. Stairs. Oh, right. Forgot. Okay. Cave. Cave is this way. I was wrong. Uh... Okay, the amount of breathing noises my character is making is making me concerned where how do I get down there these are all closed those are closed there we go that's what we're looking for administrator Bailey we did that contact admin for clearance come on I used the overseer's office that should be enough maybe Probably not. Obviously not. I just, you know, I hoped. Do I need 50 to get stairs elevator? No, this one's broken as well. I might need 50 repair to get to pest control. Common areas. Yeah, elevator. Stairs are busted. That's the overseer's office. Okay. Food production is where we're trying to get to. Uh. Overse oh! Wait, no. Not lower level. Overseer's office. How do we get to the overseer's office? It's this one. That is the wrong way. Overseer's office is closed. So it must be from the lower levels. So this goes upstairs. Yeah, that's why it loops around. And this is the utility shed, closet, room, multiple rooms. It's 
not one-shotting me, which is nice. I don't know how to advance. And that's concerning me. <laughs> Maybe I missed a door in the quarters. Doesn't look like it. This looks pretty sealed off. So those... Wait. There's a door there? If we go to the staircase between the lower level and upper level... The game seems to think there's a door here. Which... I'm not super convinced. Yeah, that's upstairs. Huh. I have nothing to make me level up. I don't have two repair buff books. Do we just go to oxygen recycling? I mean, I guess we can look around here. Pest control. Okay. Let's go to pest control from here. Because that's where we can't get to in the other zone. Okay, that might be a fake door. <laughs> Or there's another story to this area. Pest control. Is that the door to pest control? No. What? Okay. So this is the door to the caves. And we need to get to pest control. Which is accessible through the caves. Or... The other zone? I don't know how to contact Administrator Bailey. I thought going to the Overseer office would have been enough, but obviously that's not correct. Assistant Mathers went into the caves today. Medical emergency. Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who was horribly wounded. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door be closed until a further investigation can take place. Is anyone down there? Security is trying to hold off. Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please send security up at once. With Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters in the common area, I'm officially in charge of the level and I'm requesting security at once. Okay, so let's go back to the common area and see if we can find Dr. Bailey's corpse with maybe an ID card or a security badge, some kind of key. I don't know. I need to get to the door first, which is not in this room. Okay. There we go. Elevator. Stairs. Perfect. Common area. And we know how to get... Nope. I was, I was like, I know how to get there, and then I just went down a dead end. Quarters. Okay. Do these have names on them? They do not. I thought I had looked through all of them. Apparently, I didn't... Are these suits in perfect condition? Or can I combine them all? I can combine them all. Marvelous. I still have four overweight. Perfect. Uh, these things are worthless. Why am I carrying them around? Coffee mug. This is a quest item. This is also a quest item. Iron is a crafting item that I guess I probably care oh it's not a crafting item i thought it was like the material because lead is right beside it <laughs> it's not it's like yeah okay it's like for ironing your clothes vault 22 cave door key card i was in here i looked around you know what i probably did i was like "Ooh, baby thing i wonder if there's a plant baby oh I can't get it to Marie in the pit. Wrong game. I think there's another baby that'll want a teddy bear in this game. Probably not. Like it's possible, but having extra, uh, having three less carry capacity until then seems very silly. Was it three value and one weight or one weight and three value? Doesn't really matter. It's stuff I don't need to be carrying around. I'm glad I found the key card though. Cause that would be embarrassing. Eh. Okay. Cave door is left. Damn it. Oh my gosh. 
This one? There we go. Marvelous. It wasn't the officer, overseer's office we needed, it was the overseer's keycard. Marvelous.